Today I want to share with you the many benefits of using Cloudflare's content delivery network entirely for free. So I put down pretty much all my domains through Cloudflare for a number of different reasons. The first is really quite simple. You actually get a free SSL certificate and that lasts basically forever. Now loads of hosts will actually provide an SSL certificate for free. It's not very expensive, but it's just another annoying thing you've got to think about. Even if you do have to pay for it, you've then got to install it a lot of the time and then it'll expire and you have to update it. Whereas as soon as you put your site on Cloudflare, you automatically get that SSL certificate and you never have to worry about it again. So it's a great relief there. The other big benefit is speed. So Cloudflare is a content delivery network. Basically what that means is they've got servers all around the world, which means if someone's visiting your website from the other side of the world, they can get served your website from the nearest Cloudflare location in that country rather than having to reach out to your server in the US, UK, wherever you are. And while it's doing that, there's a load of other benefits it provides in there, there are things like serving your image from a third party CDN is always a recommendation. So basically Cloudflare will have a copy of your website ready to go on their server, but it'll also be very well optimized. I'm not aware of the specific technicalities of how it works, but I can give you the basic level of interpretation of how I see it working. So fundamentally, this content delivery network, it's like an extra layer between your actual website and whoever you're serving it to. So it does get optimized. And if you go for one of the paid plans, then there are additional settings there, such as broccoli compression, other additional speed fixes you can apply. But fundamentally, the user is being served your website from a closer look, and that copy of your website has also had some improvements done to it. And then one of Cloudflare's main sort of key selling points is security. Because it's this extra layer and it's a local version that's being served to the user, there are a range of security benefits there. Your own website actually has a layer of protection that way. So Cloudflare is meant to have basically industry leading benefits in things like DDoS text denial of service, where basically hackers can basically use bots to overwhelm your website server by requesting your website hundreds of thousands of times and basically just breaking your server, forcing it to go into downtime for your website. Whereas Cloudflare, they're used to handling high volumes of traffic, but even then they can also spot manipulative traffic as well. So if I go into just one of my sites here, I get a load of analytics on what's going on. You can view more analytics here. So there's nothing really here you don't get from a standard analytics tool, but still nice to have. What I'm really looking for is the attacks blocked. So 546 malicious requests blocked or challenged in the last month, and also the amount of data that's been saved. So that compression, that optimization, this basically means speed. So to get started, all we need to do pretty much as soon as you've launched your site is come over here to add a site. Now, I'm sure those of you are aware the SEO Jesus site itself is very basic. It's quite a new brand and generally I'm working away in the background on case studies, sites that make serious money and therefore forgetting about more my personal brand, my agency websites, things like that. So SEO, Je SEO Jesus is a mess. StuartVickers.com is also a mess. I never put it on Cloudflare and now the SSL has expired. So thank you to those of you who reached out to alert me to that. I don't really rely on that site for anything, but obviously when you are an SEO consultant, website consultant, you kind of want to give a good impression on your actual home turf. That's actually quite common. There's a lot of SEO experts where you look at their actual personal brand website and you see all these problems with it. And I've discussed it with a number of people and they all say the same thing. They're much busier focusing on their clients, focusing on their affiliate sites, things like that. The personal brand, people know who they are. They don't need to have a perfect website for those purposes, most of them. But for the purpose of the tutorial today, I'm going to show you how I put vickers.com on Cloudflare. So we click continue. Now, what this does is it looks at my current DNS settings. Now, this is the bit that catches a lot of people out. We've got pro, business, enterprise, ignore all that, scroll down to the bottom and you have free. So fast, easy to use DNS, unmetered DDoS protection, global CDN, free SSL certificate. So that's all good stuff. Now your DNS settings are basically what connect your domain name with your hosting. So when users on their computers go to visit a domain name, they need to get sent to your website on your hosting. So what Cloudflare does at this stage is it's scanning your existing DNS records so it can see everything just from the domain name. So where your site is currently hosted and it will copy all those over so that it can basically take that visitor, get the its own copy of your website, your hosting. That also means things like email accounts and things like that. Everything you've got on your DNS settings. So maybe you've got different text files that have been verifications for Google Search Console, things like that. You want to copy all that over so it all comes into Cloudflare. They produce their own little copy basically so they can route all that traffic through their system. So if we come down here, I'm hoping none of this is too sensitive. So we can see even things like my DKIM and SPF files, these are important for email deliverability. 
they have also been copied over. So now we do continue, not active on Cloudflare yet, we know that. Now this is the important bit. We have these name servers where we basically want to go into our registrar and change that domain name from pointing at your server to pointing to Cloudflare's server. Because Cloudflare has now copied all that information from your DNS and so can send everything to where it used to be but via Cloudflare. So that's what we need to do. Every time I've used it, it's been Aiden and Sharon. I don't actually know when that changes. And another important benefit of using Cloudflare actually is it does hide your server IP address. So that can be useful if you're into anything like PBNs or even if you've just got multiple websites on the same hosting, it can be useful to make it look like those are all on separate hosting, both for security and also so that Google doesn't think maybe you're linking those sites together, which you're not technically supposed to do, everyone does anyway. But if you are going to link your own sites together, because why wouldn't you? it can be a good idea to put them on separate IP addresses just to be sure. I've seen plenty of even big media networks that rely on selling placements and links on their websites and all their sites are on the same IP address. So I basically say to anyone, if you're running a network of sites, if you do any sort of advertising on them, then put them on set, put them through Cloudflare and you'll get different IP addresses for them, which will make them look like unique entities rather than all on the same hosting. So I'm now going to Namecheap. I've found my domain name stuartvickers.com and we just go to manage. Now currently this is pointing at my regular hosting Namecheap web hosting so we want to come down to custom DNS and for that we then put Aiden and then the other one is Sharon. Always make me think of, makes me think of Aussie. Sharon! And we click the tick. Now anything DNS based does normally take a good couple of hours to actually update here it says up to 48 hours. Normally it's quicker than that. So then we go back to Cloudflare and at the bottom we say check name servers now and obviously that's going to come back and say it's not happened yet because it's not been very long but actually Cloudflare continues checking in the background and when it's all gone through you get an email saying this is all set up and um, but you don't really need to do anything at that point anyway for this we primarily want the security benefits and the SSL and we can actually set that all up here so get started it's already got the user's default so automatic HTTPS rewrites this is always helpful because what you can find is sometimes you can depending on your implementation you can end up with websites where you've got HTTP and HTTPS on the same site. That creates loads of issues because you don't want to serve anything over HTTP versus HTTP. You also don't want duplicate content. If Google sees these multiple versions, then that can be a big technical SEO issue. So you want everything to forward to just one version. Always use HTTPS. Generally, I'd say yes. Occasionally, this has caused a few issues in the past, but if you are having issues, you just come back and turn it off. So we'll save that. So broccoli compression, you get that for free. So pretty much all this compression is a good idea. And then we're done. So within the next couple of hours, we should start seeing shitvickers.com will have an SSL certificate and will actually be serving through Cloudflare and therefore getting all those benefits. One extra thing to add about Cloudflare, it does a bit of speed help, but not a lot. So my favorite speed fix is this tool. So I'll leave a link below. You can actually get an audit of your site here of what it thinks it can do. This is basically a one-click tool where the whole business model is to pass core web vitals. So Google considers not just speed, but all sorts of different speed metrics as part of its rankings. You can see those if you go to pagespeed.web.dev. So if I put in stuartvickers.com now, most websites generally, if they've got any, basically if a website's got any graphical elements, then generally you'll find it will be very slow once it's out of the box if it's not running any of these compression tools. So if I just put in SEO Jesus here, I'm expecting probably not a hard fail, but either a medium or so we're talking maybe red, maybe orange. You'll see what I mean when it comes through in a minute. And there we go, as expected, 54. So not terrible, but not great. We really need this up into the green. Speed index of nine, that's pretty slow. And if you come down here, you can see all the things that are causing that. So it's normally things like JavaScript and basically anything pretty generally. Unfortunately, when I see a very beautifully designed website with lots of moving graphical elements, then you know it's going to be quite slow, unfortunately. So in this case, it's because I've used Elementor to create this kind of graphic that moves with the scroll. So if you've been to my website, you'll see it where my headshot here actually moves at a different pace to the scroll. So it looks really good, but it does have a speed consequence. So what we can do is put this into this tool. I click the link below and it will do this for you. Now, here we go, so we've got the full report. So it agrees with the PageSpeed Insights report just now, 58. But using this tool, we can get up to 84. Now, of course, these are all just estimates. 
that speed x we saw was quite slow, we can 2.6x that. Total blocking time, we can 100x. So that's looking much better. And again, this is free. So I'll show you this in a separate video, but crucially, when you click Get Started, just scroll down to the bottom. Again, just like Cloudflare, they've got all these pricing packages at the top. But if you go to the bottom, there's this little sneaky free plan. So it's only been a few minutes, but we've already had great news. Cloudflare is now protecting your site. I did actually refresh to get that notification, but only about five or 10 minutes. And now if we visit the front end of the site, we can then see connection is secure, certificate is valid. So this website is now going through Cloudflare, getting a load of benefits, including the free SSL, more speed, more safety. There's really no reason not to do it.